Welcome back, friends, to the shop. Jack and I are working on the uh, chicken coop again. We're going to work, try to get the nesting boxes in, and he's working on the roost poles over there. So for these dividers, I'm just using some half-inch ply. I just cut a template right here, and this will fit uh, nicely in here and divide those off into those uh, boxes. They have a little privacy, I guess, is the thing. I've been told by you guys that it won't matter how many you put in because they'll all just want to use the same one. So <laughs> we'll have to see on that. I was just going to put the two-by-twos on here, and uh, Jack was working on that, but you thought that that was not going to be comfortable, so you decided to chamfer those off there? Yeah, chamfer them and then plane it off. So what is the right angle? Did you find out or what you just kind of thinking that's what would be best I, I'm just kind of thinking this is what would be best considering that the other chicken coop had an angle very similar to this these egg box dividers are just going to be made out of the leftover half inch plywood now when you when you lay these out you can use the first one as a template what I'll do is I'll whenever I'm doing this I'm going to be repeating something over and over again I'll put a T on there now, some guys will make the mistake of just using the last one that they cut as a template, but what happens for every little minute mistake that you make, it amplifies, it just carries over, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you use the same one, the very first one that you cut for the template, each time you'll uh, be less likely to uh, get off your measurements. Yeah, the only dimension that you need, Jack, is once you've established this one right here, you know that there's 15 inches between them, mm -hmm. and then that will determine where they fall. I think that's great, Jack. A little bit of tension on there is nice. That way it won't move on them. Mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Can you hand me the impact driver? That white fur is just useless. Give me Doug fur. Don't give me white fur. Because it's brittle and it splits. Can I try it? So what, what do you do? Oh, well you just kind of spin up, yeah, you spin it between your fingers. You should have seen me back in the day with my nunchucks. So there'll be two windows, so with it, when you get the uh, eggs, you can look in and see what's going on. So these are our rafters. Mm -hmm. They're cut on a uh, 60 degrees or 30 degrees each side split to make our peak right there. So. I'm going to start installing these on here, and these are going to be 24 inches on center. Mm -hmm. Every 24, there'll be rafters. So you need to figure out what the blocking is going to be between the rafters. Yeah, so this lever locks it. Mm -hmm. So you push this button right here. Now you've got stops for your main, your common ones. Your, mm -hmm. your 45, your 22 and a half, like that, your common angles. Mm -hmm. 30 is not common. So you go to 30 here, you land it up on there, and then push that down, that locks it. You've dropped my speed square, listen, you've dropped my speed square three times. That's a measuring instrument, you don't want to drop measure, measuring instruments, so keep it in your back pocket. And you said it was how long? 32 is the long point. I left the rafter tails floating, so we have a little bit of leeway. Perfect. Good cut.
We're about to see how good you are right now, Jack. Let's see here. Not too shabby dealing with crummy old lumber, huh? Hey, can you come over here and endo me on these? You know what I think I've learned is if I want to have any, like, couple tools, mm -hmm. I want to have a uh, drill or an impact wrench. Right. I want to have a table saw, like that one. That's a chop saw. Or a chop saw. Mm -hmm. um, a hammer, a lot of different types of screwdrivers, and <laughs> that seems like you don't need much else. Maybe a skill saw. A skill saw will do everything a chop, chop, chop saw and a table saw will do, mm -hmm. just not as well. That is it for today. Jack's going to give us a quick walk around. So what did we accomplish today? We built the resting area for all the chickens. So they can rest on here. Removable? Yeah. They come out? Nice. You just have to, they're pretty tight so they won't shake around. That's great. Oh, actually we do need to uh, nail these in too. So we can do, we'll nail that in tomorrow. Uh, around here, you worked on this with all the spacing for the chickens. You got the dividers in? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we worked on making sure all of the rafters and center beam and everything were on. Yep. Ridge? Yeah. Rafters, fascia boards, and bird blocks. Yeah. Why do they call those bird blocks? Well, I think that there are more squirrel blocks around here. <laughs> squirrel blocks do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't put those in there. Now, a lot of times it wouldn't be a bad idea to vent those, uh, but we're going to do venting a little different. different. But uh, I think it looks great. It's, yeah. getting, it's getting heavier every time we come out here, though. I was able to pick it up using, like, one of, or wait, no, I was, I was trying to put this beam in right here, so let's, that way that... Let's see the strength of the man. Can you pick it up? Oh, it's not so heavy. No. Wait till we get that sheeting on there. Mm -hmm. Fly All right. Sheeting. Thanks, Jack. You did a good job today. Yeah. It's going to look like a house next time. Well, I don't want to live in it, especially now with chickens. <laughs> you want to live in it before the chickens. I don't want to live in it at all. I want a room with space for a bed and a mini fridge. You think your chickens are going to like it? A lot more than their very wiry cage right now, yeah. I think you can. Jump in muddy puddles. Jump, jump. Got you all muddy. <laughs> Do you like to get muddy? What is daddy? Ready. Ready, steady, go. What sound is that? Yes, it's a horse. Is that a pig or a horse? Pig. Does your mother know you're out here with your new shoes on in the mud? Dad, can you get in the muddy puddle? I'm not getting anywhere near that. Dad, what's your statement? You want to jump? Yeah. Yeah. Can you jump? It's not like you can get much muddier. Here. Your daughter is trying to give me a heart attack. What'd she do? She slid on the porch almost off and fell over the edge into the rocks. It's good for her. No, it's not good for me. I'm gonna have a heart attack. That girl is a risk taker and not very graceful. Seems fine. I have something for you in the bag. Would you yeah, like to reach in? He's a worm. Grab one. What type of meal? What, what type of mealworms are they? Good worms. Those worms are for the chickens. In the worms. 
I don't want them, but the chickens will eat. Oh, you're dropping them everywhere. Can you bring these to the chickens? Yeah. I don't need any, but you can bring them to the chickens. Uh, I don't think you have any pockets. Do you want to just bring the whole bag? Can you put the worms back in? Yeah. 